Hey everyone, it's Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to transfer your iPhone photos over to your Windows 10 device or your Windows 11. And I'm going to show you how to get the thumbnails to show up too if it's a .mov file because sometimes this is an issue. So I got my phone right here and I got my charging cable. I plug this into a USB port on my computer already. And all I have to do is simply plug it in. Now there's going to be a pop-up. You simply just want to go to Allow. And let's get a close up of this. And it says, allow this device to access photos and videos. Let's select allow on my phone. Then type in your passcode if you got one. Now we're able to transfer videos on over to my computer. And you may see like the file explorer pop up and you can go to the internal storage and you can just see the files on your iPhone in here. So here's all my pictures and stuff on here. Now there's a little bit easier way to actually transfer these over. So we're gonna use the photos application. So let's go to search and go to photos and then select this application. And this is gonna appear. So I get all my different photos on here. I'm gonna to go to the top right and go to import and then choose your Apple iPhone. And it should start uh, showing all your different pictures you have on your iPhone. Now, all you have to do when this gets done, I have a lot of photos on here. Uh, you want to select right here. You can select all and then go to add right here. And it should import those over for you. And it might take a long time because I have probably like 2,000 photos on here. So I'm just going to skip ahead. And I'm going to show you how to get your thumbnails to display. So... I'm going to go on over to where I store my iPhone photos. So this is my external hard drive and I got my A6400. I just store everything in my Sony cameras uh, folder. So I got everything in one area. So here it is right here. I'm going to go to uh, 918 of 2024 and I'm going to open this up. And you can see I got image something, whatever. And this may not show up as a thumbnail image. So it's going to be very frustrating if you're trying to see everything before there would just be like the little play button. So what I did, I downloaded something called Icarus or Icaros or whatever it's called. I just went to google.com and I went to this first website. This is I-C-A-R-O-S. And I went to this website and I just simply downloaded it. And I'm going to go to search now and open this up, Akaros, and launch this application. It's going to go black real quick, and then I should be back. And I'm going to go to OK here and install this since I got it on my computer now. So this is what it looks like. I want to go to thumbnailing and go to activate. And I'm going to activate the properties too. But I want to go to this little plus icon when this opens up. And I want to add my image files in here for .mov. So just add any kind of image that's not showing a thumbnail and go to open. And you should be able to add it. And now your thumbnails should be displaying. So it's that simple. So very easy to import stuff over to your computer. And you should be good to go. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.